Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome back to our coverage of the World Series of Poker. I am with Ari Engel, who I just shouted out to on the PPR as one of my favorite people to interview because you're just so intelligent. You always, you always cover all the gamut. You give me all the details. So something else that we were talking about on the Primetime Poker Report this last week is Limit. You're about to kick off in this 3 p.m. event and Donnie was saying that essentially the game of Limit is solvable. Give me your thoughts on this. Yeah, so uh, a game like Limit theoretically is definitely going to be way easier to solve because no limit just has, you know, you could bet any sizing, so there's a whole lot of, a whole lot more choices. Um, I'm not at like the highest levels of play in especially Limit, so for me, the people that I bump into, they're definitely still making mistakes. There's definitely, uh, you know, it's not, really even close to solved or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's always something to worry about. That That is a game that can potentially get solved. You see uh, you see uh, bots play uh, people like Phil Locke. Uh, did, right, so yeah. this is what I was gonna yeah. ask you about. So they did this whole thing a couple years back where everyone was like, oh, it's solved and it's, you know, we've got the algorithms all worked out. But then humans were still winning. So how do you explain that? Um, so like, Imagine like a very simple game, like uh, rock, paper, scissors. Um, you know, the most optimal way to play that would be one third of each of the three choices. Um, if there is a solution to limit hold'em, it could be the same way where the most optimal way is to three bet ace 10, 85% in that situation. And that's just the most optimal way. In which case, a computer which has the computing power to do that most optimal play each time would be better off and whatever you did that veered away from that you'd be giving up something. Um, at the same time when human beings are playing other human beings uh, most of the time until you reach the high level it doesn't make sense to play that super perfect optimal way. You'd rather see where your opponents are veering from and then adjust Relative to that, again, go back to the rock, paper, scissors. You imagine your opponent starts doing 50% of the time rock. It's a very easy counter. You wouldn't want to keep doing one third, one third, one third. Right, it totally makes sense. Well, you know, it seems like these limit fields are significantly smaller than, of course, the no limit fields. So how do you account for that? What do you, why do you think that is? Well, uh, you know, no limit hold'em was what's on TV. It's what most people got into. It's um, it's what most people learned in, in my generation playing. Um, of course, if you were from a certain other generation, Limit Hold'em was more popular, but the amount of people that came, um, that grew up playing those games compared to the ones that came in mon with Moneymaker playing No Limit. So that, that's always going to be way more popular. But um, I think Limit Hold'em still get really nice turnouts. Um, there is uh, plenty of interest in that. If you go around the country, Limit Hold'em games do run and uh, around the world and online and um, yeah, it may not be the biggest turnout, but it's definitely uh, pretty decent. And I think a lot of people feel more comfortable with it when they're maybe not big time poker players. Like, oh, I'll go to the casino and I have, there's a cap on how much I may or may not lose. Well, I of course wish you luck. It would be great to see you, you know, just shipping things in Australia, then coming over, shipping some Vegas things. Ari Engel, I'm Sarah Herring. You're with us here on pokernews.com.